Dean, it's going to be a sore result after that first half performance. Uh, what's your thoughts on the result? Listen, it's a good point on the road. They've invested heavily and the front two scored three goals on today and that sort of got them back into the game. We had enough chances to win three games. Um, they scored at crucial times easily. They scored, obviously got a goal back right on half time, <coughs> just before half time and then scored in 64th minute and obviously they got one late as well. So they've invested in their front line and if I'm being honest from their point of view, um, I don't think a goalie's made many saves. I have to be honest. Uh, obviously, you're disappointed because you conceded in what, what, what was it, 96 and a half minutes or something it was. So, um, so we're disappointed with that, obviously. We don't want to be conceding any goals. I was really pleased with the clean sheet the other day. Uh, realistically, even against Hartlepool, the same. A goalie hasn't had many saves to make. Um, it, could he have come for the cross there at the end? I don't know. Do you know what I mean? So, look, I'm not trying to criticise Laurie or anything, but um, some big moments in the game. He's got a one-on-one, -on -one, Nicky, has to score. Their goalie makes a great save. We could have gone 4-2 up and, and added on time ourselves when Reese has got in behind the back of them and he squared it across. No one's there to tap it in. So, look, you're judged on what happens and what you do and not what you think's going to happen. And I just felt today, from there, if I look at the both camps overall, um, their front two have gotten back in the game, in a game where we played really, really well in loads of phases of it and dominated possession. And they had loads of chances. And we, sh we should have won the game, but we haven't. Obviously, you don't want to focus on too many negatives because, of course, three games, seven points up in the, top, in the playoff places. But obviously, in the first three games, we had the Hartlepool game where we were 3 0 up and the two goals. And then, obviously, today, what's happened? Is that something that you're worried about going forward? I'm so worried about Oh, we've got to walk on it. We've got to get better. Like Danny's come off injured at half time. Um, Marv Rennie's race. Uh, I think Anthony Hart and come on, gave us good composure, got us back on, back on the ball, uh, allowed us to sort of dominate that. And like I say, there's not a lot we can do really. We've had loads of chances to win the game, and you know, several more than them, I'd say. And uh, but they had that clinicalness, I suppose that rootlessness in the front two. They've got three goals, them. and uh, from their point of view, I suppose we are, we are frustrated. We will be. But we're not going to. There's loads of games to come. We're going to go against Saturday against Woken, so you know, we want to learn from it. We've got to do better. We're still a very young group. I think we're the third youngest group in the division. So um, and we just showed a little bit of naivety at times today, but ideally. I don't think he should be getting the chance at the back post. He's took the long throw, McCallum. This is obviously for the equaliser. And then he's ghosted back into the, in, into the back post. And we haven't squeezed the box well enough. And it looks like he heads from about three yards out. So uh, we'll, we'll have a look at it and go through it on towards the end and see how we can improve. You only made one change to your starting 11 today from what's been in the last three games. Ben Coker, what was the reason for his absence today? He's ill. So he's, he's ill, he's sick. So massive loss for us because he's an experienced player. Um, and he would have done well for us tonight, there's no doubt about that. We obviously had to put Idris out there, so um, he did a good shift for us. But yeah, he, we, we, need, we need all the experience we can get, especially when you come here and you find yourself sort of three and up just on half time. Uh, the more experience you have, the better. Uh, another change you made today at half time was Danny Collins came off. He had a great first half, got a goal. What was the reason behind that substitute? I said earlier, he's injured, so he felt he couldn't carry on. So. We think he might have a dead leg, so Jay to look after that, that's our department. So you don't want to be taking Danny off at no stage. Uh, he's been outstanding for us, so yeah, that's, that's the way it goes. But this is what happens. You play so, so many games, you pick up injuries, pick up niggles. We've got lads sick, now we've got someone injured. And the players that step in have to do the business. So if we're going to have enough strength and depth in our squad to be successful this year, they've got to step up, step up to the plate and perform. So um, yeah, our, our squad will probably get tested now in the next few weeks. With, uh, but all the games we have, I think we go against Saturday, then we're Saturday, Monday, the week after, so it's relentless. Um, another positive today, Anthony Hartigan brought into the into the club. Uh, how did you feel he did to, today coming on in that second half? And what, what did you see, obviously, you were scouting him to make him for you to bring him to the club today? Technically excellent, you can go through him in midfield. Uh, he's a defensive midfield player. Um, beautiful right foot, got good vision. I thought he gave us much more control when he came on, we controlled the game better. And like I say, realistically, from the sort of when they got their when they got their second goal, I thought we controlled the game really, really well and got ourselves in good positions where we should have made it four, if not five. We missed some absolute guilt edge chances. Um, so we've only got ourselves to blame really. So but I thought he did really well, Anthony. Yeah, he's a player we've been tracking for a long time, so it's a good cue for us. And just finally, our supporters again travelling and their numbers on the road, very vocal throughout. What's your message to them tonight? Yeah, brilliant again. Yeah, got right behind the lads, thanked them for the support. And uh, we're all probably, they're probably a little bit disappointed going home, but you know, when you look at it before the game, 
and we put, would we have liked have taken a point here definitely um, so I think it's a good point um, but the way the game went probably we're all a little bit a little bit sour about it but we just got to move on quick can't be too disappointed move on to the next game we've got a team in, on Saturday I think they come toward last year so Sally will have his team up for it, there's no doubt about it. They're a very physical team, so just got to move on to that game ASAP. Dean, thank you for your time.